The males also possess a second set of warts further down on the snout. Not just a pretty face, the warts also have a function. When male hogs are competing for a sow's attention, they wrestle head to head. The knobbly warts act as protection from the blows of his adversary's tusks. Maturing animals develop prominent tusks that flare upwards and outwards, above the snout, giving these pigs a thoroughly menacing appearance. The males have larger tusks and broader, heavier heads than the sows. Because the neck is so short, warthogs feed on their knees, using the snout and tusks in combination to root around for food. Warthogs like grass but are generally omnivorous eating fruit, seeds, roots and small animals. A young hog is a suckling. Litters of usually three to six are born during the summer months. The young are weaned by six months. The piglets fall prey to a large range of carnivores as well as large birds of prey and snakes. The adult hog's main predators are lions and hyenas. Springbok have distinctively coloured hides. Cinnamon upper body and white belly and underside with a dark brown stripe along the flank. Desert antelope, springbok live in the arid Karoo and dry semi-desert regions of the Cape. These springbok rams are filmed in the Kalahari. They are marking out their territory with their horns and applying their scent to warn other males to keep away. The rams will fight fiercely over territorial rights to the best females for breeding, locking horns and wrestling. This often results in injury, making them more prone to prey or sometimes death. Here is the male. Note the majestically shaped horns. Their most distinctive behavior their name is a springing jump up to two meters high. They also have a fast bouncy gait when they run, taking long leaps that carry them up to three meters into the air whilst reaching speeds of over 80 kilometers an hour. The agitated jumping is probably to signal the presence of a predator to the rest of the herd. These lightly framed slender primates are found in a wide variety of African woodland and tree savanna, but like all monkeys, are dependent on water. As well as plants found in the bush, vervet monkeys eat very small animals, insects and bird's eggs. Common and resilient, they are not endangered. Highly sociable, they bond together in a troop, a female-dominated unit of around 20 or 30 into which the females are born. The males leave this group as they begin to mature and join other troops for a period of time before moving on to another. The high-ranking males get to breed with females in the group. This cub is playing in a tree where later it will spend the night for protection. Kudu densely populate the bushveld regions and savanna woodland of southern Africa. They are present in large volumes in the Kruger National Park, which provides ample plant life for their feeding. However, they are vulnerable to anthrax. Single calves are born through the summer. The kudu's lifespan is 15 years. Adult bulls live solitarily or are found in small bachelor groups, but interestingly are not territorial. Dominance among the males for mating is demonstrated primarily